So big data is data so large that traditional tools and methods can't handle it. We need new solutions to help us. And so in other words, it won't run on our laptop's hardware. The data is too large for that. And the way that this is going to work as we try to handle and deal with big data, we often use several computing resources working in parallel. And we distribute the work across those computers, and they work on things at the same time. Now, these aren't typically physical computers we're talking about. We're talking about virtual resources or virtual machines all working together. And so what happens is we have a task that we want to perform on this big data, maybe like cleaning this data or visualizing it, and we split it across these resources. They do their work in parallel, and they bring back together the result. Another way to think about this is if you clean your house, if you do it yourself, it could take a long time. But if you have a whole team helping you, it can get done pretty fast. Another way of saying this is many hands make light work. Now, when we describe big data, we usually use what are called the three Vs. Big data has volume. There's lots of it. It has velocity. The data comes really fast. And it has variety. We have a mix of data types, and we have structured and unstructured data and everything in between. So volume, velocity, and variety. Now, when it comes to volume, this might be a simple example, but we're typically talking about more data that can fit in an Excel spreadsheet. But what actually qualifies as big data can vary across company. It's really when your methods at your company can't handle that volume. So it may be different between company A and company B. The definition doesn't really matter that much, though. Now, when it comes to variety, we generate lots of data every day from a variety of sources. Could be video data, it could be social media data, could be data from our smartphones. As time goes on, the variety of data sources continues to grow. Now, storing and processing big data can be expensive. So as we handle it and deal with it, we need to think about our goals and objectives. What are we trying to accomplish? So typically, when we have that big data, we want to do things like visualize it to better understand our business. We want to identify trends and patterns, or maybe build predictive models. We got to think about if we're going to store and process this big data, which can be expensive, do we have some goals and objectives in mind, things that we want to accomplish with that? And finally, big data has become much easier with the cloud, with cloud computing. It provides affordability and scalability. Big data has become more affordable because of the cloud and more scalable. As our data grows, and if it grows fast, the cloud can help us deal with that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. And if you're interested in other analytics cheat sheets and resources, you can find them over at codybaldwin.com.